Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Beauty Big Bang 028 plate and I'm going to do an A England Manny request for Gina Rose. I've started off with Neltix Formula 2 and this is Tatiana Fairy Queen by A England. It's a beautiful like silver hollow. Um, I'm going to use this as my base. Um, I didn't really know what I was going to do with this one so I'm just starting off with this. <laughs> It's a beautiful light polish, and these A Englands have insanely wonderful formulas. Never been disappointed with any of them. So there's the first coat of Tatiana Fairy Queen. And then we're going to go in with the second coat. And I wouldn't say that it com makes it completely okay. I mean, you know, I mean, it's just, it's not solid. But um, I don't see much nail line, so I'm good. So I'm going to top it with some Fast and Hard from Vibrant Finals. Get it to dry down. And I'll just fess up. I wore it to work just like this for one day. Just like that. While I was thinking about what I was going to do. There we go. Gorgeousness. So I've got my IMK Protect Peel on my digits. And I'll be doing a gradient with Peas Blossom A Fairy and Puck A Fairy. Um, Gina Rose wanted to see me play with both of these polishes, so I knew that they were going to be involved today. I've decided to do a gradient with them. This is one of those evolving manis. I didn't have it like totally planned out in my head. I just started putting polish on my nails. And let it speak to me and decide what to do. So I want you guys to see this. Bam! Look at the coverage. As soon as I get my finger out of the way. That's just the first coat. That's some good coverage. Excellent. And you know I probably could have done just one maybe two browns and been done with it. But you know I wanted to kind of build them up and see what I could get them to do. That's just insane. Excellent. So I'm filling my sponge up again. Now I do moisten my sponges and I get asked all the time, why do I do that? I personally believe that it takes less polish, that the sponge doesn't suck up as much of the polish that way. And I also believe that it gives you a smoother gradient, that the colors transition better uh, you know, it might be my imagination, but I just feel like they do. And I am going to do another round. Although I don't think it's necessary, I'm just trying to make sure that they're all pretty even. And I am speeding this up a lot. Because <laughs> I didn't want to spend too much time on the gradient. But I did want y'all to see how it builds up. I'm going to pull off that latex, protect peel, and do a little bit of cleanup with my cleanup brush and some acetone. Getting that up under there because I always get it under there. Now I will admit that I went just a little gaga on my cleanup here. I got a little, you know, a little crazy doing it and got got my gap back by my cuticle area just a little too fat for my taste but I'm gonna pop some fast and hard from vibrant vinyls on top of this and I'm gonna let it dry and once again I wore it to work just like this for one day <laughs> and then I decided to stamp on it I'll be reviewing demoing this Beauty Big Bang stamping plate today Came in this cute little pouch, and I gotta get this blue film off of it. But it's Beauty Big Bang 028. And if you use my discount code PAC285 Tina, you'll get 10% off your order. I'm trying to use Woody here to open this one up. There we go. And we've got that plastic film off, and I'm gonna run some acetone over it. Kind of clean it up and wipe it with a paper towel real quick. <laughs> I'll be using Nicole Diary in S04 today, my monocle stamper, and my beauty scraper. 
and I'm just going to use five of the images off of this plate. I figured this would be way more fun than swatching them on, you know, nails, um, fake nails or pop sticks or on the mat or anything. I just figured, let's just do them on the nail. Like that, got the peekaboo effect. And I'm going to clean off my stamper on my lint roller. Then I'm not going to bother cleaning the plate because I'm using different images. I'm skipping the fish image because I just did a fish mani. This one's a wave with like a tail that swoops up in it. I don't know that you can really see it on my short nails, but it's it's a cute image. Definitely like it. And then now for the this, I really like this image. This one I thought showed up best on my short nails. You could kind of see everything and see what what it all was. But these images are all picking up excellent and transferring. I love Beauty Big Bang stamping plates. I've talked about this before. I'm a big fan. And this big ship image is really too big for my nail, but I don't care. I'm going to use it anyway. And just so y'all know what my crazy mind was thinking, I was kind of picturing, you know, the sunset sky and the blue water, you know, on the gradient. I thought that this would work out, and that's why I stamped with these images today. Just a little little off the hook, not too crazy, but not like a total sunset, but I've seen all sorts of sunsets and I figured this would work. You know. But look at that. Every image perfect. I love them. So I'm going in with a piece of tape and cleaning up this excess. Sorry that the camera's blurring out on me. I won't be at this stage long. And then now, since I left those big old gaps back on the back of my nails, I couldn't stand it. So I have decided to take some of that Nicole Diary polish and just kind of go and kind of outline the top of the nail. First, I'm going in with the Nicole Diary stamping polish and filling kind of like a, I wouldn't call it a crescent. It's not really full. It's not very solid, very big. I'm not... I'm not trying to make them too big. I'm trying to keep them pretty small. But after I go over it with the Nicole Diary polish, I am also going to use that Tatiana Fairy Queen um, polish to go over the top of that and give it a little sparkle. This is just how I fix things. <laughs> I show you all my little tr tricks that I do. Um, they're not always perfect, and um, I'm not a steady hand, so freehand's not my thing. But I thought just kind of outlining the top of them with some of that polish would just, it'd make me happy. Because I really didn't like the big gaps that I had left. They were bothering me. So once again, I'm going to top it with the Vibrant Finals top coat. And seal it in and call it dead. But I really ended up liking this one. I, you know, I'm a junkie for A. England polishes. I'm a junkie for gradients. And I'm definitely a junkie for a Beauty Big Bang stamp and plate. So I'll leave a link for them down below. Don't forget to use my code if you go. So I'm doing a little bit of cleanup with Woody. Yay. And there's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.